guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna to be reacting to first dog in history to be cancelled rescue pop faces pride month okay rescue pop faces pride month guys hey this one is interesting let's check it out I want to introduce you to Bella. Bella is a three-year-old dog who was rescued by her owner, Jonathan Miller. I bumped into Jonathan at Royal Ascot on Friday and he mentioned that Bella's likely to have become the only dog in history to have been cancelled and it's because of Pride Month. Well, I said to Jonathan, you better come on to Piers Morgan Uncensored <laughs> and explain this extraordinary story. Well, Jonathan and Bella, welcome to Piers Morgan Uncensored. What happened? Well, it's, uh, I was in London last week, as you know. We did have the pleasure of seeing each other. And I was, uh, we have a little flat in London. I live in France. And I was struck by the ubiquitous uh, branding for Pride everywhere. I went to Tesco. It was blazoned with, uh, with Pride flags. Regent Street, uh, Pride. The pub next door, Pride. Everything was Pride. And it, I began, it, I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a grumpy old guy, I guess, but it struck me as being slightly bizarre. Why is there such a thing as Pride Month? We give one day a year to veterans who died defending their country, a day to mothers, a day to fathers, maybe a couple of days to Jesus, but uh, a month for Pride. Anyway, at, at this moment, I received an email from a company called Tractive in Austria, which makes a GPS tracker, which lets me keep an eye on Bella, as she hunts in the uh, in the vines every day for green lizards and wild boar and uh, and long eared hares, and the, uh, the the email suggested that I should order a um, a, a rainbow flag um, cover for Bella's GPS device so that she could uh, show her pride in Pride Month. And uh, I'm afraid I was triggered, and I rather <laughs> grumpily I rather grumpily wrote. Uh, to Tractive in Austria, and I said, why don't you just concentrate on uh, tracking dogs and uh, and cease the virtue signaling, which I thought was a fair, a fair enough mm -hmm. point. And I got a reply that said, uh, we've taken, thank you for your email. It was a very passive-aggressive reply. Thank you for your email. Uh, we've cancelled your subscription to, uh, to uh, Tractive, so you can no longer track your dog. So... Um, being the, uh, the the evil journalist that I am, I mean, thought, well, this is a good story. I read it for The Spectator, got a huge reaction. Um, and you like the story, too. Mm. Um, and you've now and, had an uh, apology from the CEO and, well, of Tractive. Then, then, then this morning, um, the story continues. Uh, Bella, it's past Bella's bedtime. She's a little, <laughs> a little uh, first live television show. Um, uh, I get an email from the chief executive officer of Tractive, Apollo, Bella's going to jump down now, so no you've, seen all you, you've seen all you're going to see of Bella. Um, I get a, a, an email from the chief executive, in fact, of apologizing, you know, you know, rather rather humbly and saying that the person who cancelled me had no right to do so um, and that they indeed do respect uh, other points of view. He said that uh, Tractive continues to support uh, pride, which I guess is their right, Um but all is well that ends well, and that Bella can continue her peregrinations in the vines without fear of becoming lost should she be distracted. But it is an it. extraordinary situation, I think. I think you hit the nail on the head. It's not about not wanting to embrace the spirit of pride. Of course, I, I do. I'm sure you do. It's Why is there a whole month of it? Why is it all so completely over the top? And why, if you raise any raised eyebrow, even about your dog having to embrace this, then you get cancelled. Oh, no, that's well, it. Your dog can die. Sorry. It, it, it seems to me that, uh, <clears throat> that this thing has, has spun slightly out of control. And corporations in particular and governments have embraced this as if um, LGBTQ, XYZ or whatever it now is, is some kind of ideology. And I, I don't really understand why it should be so sacred. Um, and I don't even actually accept that LGBTQ, etc., is really a community. I, I, I noticed in the King's Birthday Honours List, which was uh, published a few days ago, and in which Mrs. Miller, my wife, featured, um, ah, there, was an award given for, <laughs> there was an award given for services 
to the to the LGBTQ community. I mean, what really? I mean, it's not really a community. The L's don't seem to get on particularly well with the G's, uh, and the T's don't seem to get on particularly well with any of them. <laughs> That's true. Um, and and uh, it's not certainly. You know, I have gay friends and have had for years. I've had gay colleagues. I have absolute respect for gay people. They can do whatever they want. But this kind of in-your-face ideological push uh, by corporations and governments to identify with this strikes me as excessive and not really um, proportionate, given that there are many, many deserving, uh, I mean, a, a gay pride day, okay, but a gay pride month, um Listen, I, I, I totally agree. I think it is over the top now. And I don't like being forced to do anything. Um, and I think what happened here was you were basically told if you didn't, you know, if you didn't go along with this, your dog would then be put in danger, have its tracking turned off. Uh, I'll read out the statement from Michael uh, Hunas. He's the CEO of Tractive. He said, I'd like to apologise. One of our support agents felt personally targeted, reacted in a manner he shouldn't have, that shouldn't have happened. We have internally taken appropriate measures. I want to emphasise that we do not share your view, but we do accept different opinions. I'm not even sure he really knows what your view is. I've reinstated your service and added three months of free service. But an interesting little twist there, whether he doesn't agree with your view, he presumably thinks you're homophobic, because if you don't agree with everything that is laid down as law on this stuff uh, by the mob, then you become transphobic, homophobic, whatever it is. I'm none of those things. I suspect you're not either. Um, but continue to raise eyebrows, Jonathan, because uh, you're, thanks to your going public, Bella has been uncancelled. Bella has been uncancelled, that's correct. And she's a very happy dog and it's past her bedtime and probably past mine. But, well, uh, what a, I won't keep you any longer, Jonathan. I'm what a delighted pleasure to see. What, what a pleasure to see you again last week, and uh, we'll talk again soon. It's great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Do take uh, care. My regards Bye. to Bella. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Man, guys, I don't really know what's happening. I don't understand. Like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. This is becoming horrific. Canceling a dog because the owner does not. That apology to me is not even an apology. Like, you don't share your view. Like, I don't understand. So, you know, that was, it's because, I'm sure they did that because they know he's a, he's a journalist. So they don't want on, they don't want any, any bad media attracted to their name, if you guys get what I mean. Man. Well, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So, like, come here nice and can stick up yourself. Bye.